In this short tutorial, we're going to look at texturing, show you how we can texture a complete panel using a bore nose cutter, and also how to restrict the texture to within inside a boundary. So if we start by creating a new rectangular panel, let's have a panel that's 20 by say 24 inches, one inch thick, Z0 on the surface, and the origin in the bottom left hand corner. So there we have our, our panel. We swap to the toolpaths tab on the right, check the material settings, so we have a retract height or gap of eighth of an inch, click OK. The last icon is the create 3D texturing toolpath, select the cutter, so for example we wish to use a two inch diameter ball nose cutter, the bigger the ball nose the better for large jobs. It's, if you're cutting small jobs, you can get away with smaller dams or bore nose cutters. Okay, if we run down the texturing form, this is the maximum depth that the cutter will go to, and it will vary in depth between, between the maximum depth and min depth. So if this was set to 50%, then the min depth would be 0 0.05 of an inch. So let's just change this so just to be a little bit shallower. At 30%. Uh, the cut length, this is the length of the scallop that the, call will, the tool will produce. Let's go for say 6 in, six inch scallops and we can also have a min length based on the variation as well. Let's say we have a min length of say almost 3 inches. We can have an overlap. This is, this is where the scallops overlap end to end. So let's say we have a, an overlap of around about 30% variation random variation of 50%, step over between passes about uh, half an inch, let's make that slightly bigger, it's say 0 0.6 of an inch, and variation in step over as well, so the randomness. Calculate the toolpath, see in the three dimensional view we have the, the toolpath being displayed there, we can preview this toolpath, so preview, you see that that's what the cutter is going to produce on the wooden panel, we can speed this up by switching the cutter off, so cancel, stop the animation preview, and that shows us the random carved texturing. For a more regular pattern, we simply double click to edit the toolpath and switch the sliders to the left, taking away the variation. So if we push them all to the left. Recalculate the toolpath, reset the preview, preview the results. You'll see now that we have a very regular pattern instead of having the random offsets between depth and length and, and step over, etc. Okay, so that's looked at texturing a complete area. Let's just look at texturing a, selected, a selected area, for example on a sign. So if we say File, Close, there's a file on the, in the Samples folder called Simple Textures. Say we wish to texture between the, out the inner circle and the logo. So to do that I'm just going to drag and select the logo. Select the circle. I'm going to offset inwards by quarter of an inch offset and this gives me some new boundaries and I'm, we're going to texture between this boundary shift and select the additional boundary so the boundary around the text we can group those together so group so now they become a single object when when selected just going to delete some of the pieces that we're no longer interested in. So delete the little bits. We're not really going to texture inside the middle of the B either. So if we select the two boundaries that are grouped together, open the toolpath tab, texture, select the cutter. Uh, here we have our two inch ball nose. That's probably a bit big for this design so I'm going to say edit the tool. Let's make it a one inch ball nose. 
one inch diameter calculate and we'll make the cut length four inches point one of an inch deep and calculate with the boundary selected preview the toolpath let's preview the toolpaths that were already in the file so the V carving the chamfered outer edge and the cut out see there that we've got a very regular texture if we double click and edit oops, sorry double click to edit the texture file and we experiment with the sliders so we change the variation of depth change the length so that the length isn't always four inches you'll see they're all very regular and so we change the sliders for variation recalculate reset the preview preview again get a very random texture this time if we say preview all toolpaths see that we have the, the finished sign so we've textured inside the selected boundary so between this circle and the offset that we've placed around the logo thank you for watching the video